Here we have a problem that says to evaluate the following integral by using the substitution method. And we have that the integral is the square root of 1 plus x squared times x to the fifth dx. So what I find is whenever I'm using the substitution method, the first thing I want to try is making u equal something that's like an inside function. So because the 1 plus x squared is under the square root, I'm going to start by trying we don't always know that that the choosing of a particular u is going to work to start with, but let's start by trying 1 plus x squared is equal to u. So then once we define our u, we need to take the derivative of our u equation. And we want to write the derivative of u in the form of du dx. And that would be equal to the derivative of 1 goes to 0 the derivative of x squared is 2x. From here, the way I like to use the substitution method is to solve for my dx so that I can plug that in to the dx in the integral. So I'll multiply both sides by, by dx. That would make du is equal to 2x dx. And then divide both sides by 2x to get dx. is equal to du over 2x. All right, so now I'm going to take my u and my dx and I'm going to substitute it into my integral. That makes the integral the square root of u times x to the fifth times du over 2x. So now we want to see what we can cancel out. We have a 2 in the denominator, so we can pull that out to the front to make 1 half integral of the square root of u. Now we have an x to the fifth on top and an x on bottom, so, one, so that x will cancel out, making x to the fourth, and then du. So we didn't get rid of all of our x's just in this step. However, if we do a little trick, taking our u equation and I want to solve for x to the fourth so I can substitute in something in terms of u. So if I first start by subtracting 1 on both sides that makes u minus 1 is equal to x squared and then to get this to x to the fourth I need to square both sides. So that makes u minus 1 squared is equal to x squared squared is x to the fourth. So now I can substitute my x minus 1 squared in for my x to the fourth in the problem. So I can make that 1 half integral of the square root of u times u minus 1 squared du. So now I have effectively gotten rid of all of my x variable in my problem and I only have u's left. So now we want to see can we use an integral um, formula to take the integral of this. So I'm going to start by distributing out my u minus 1 squared. So that makes 1 half integral and I'm going to write my u to the square root as, or my square root of u, <coughs> excuse me, as u to the power of 1 half. And then when I distribute out, this would be u minus 1 times u minus 1. du. So then when I distribute... I will have u squared. I'll have a minus u and then another minus u, so it'll be minus 2u. And then negative 1 times negative 1 is plus 1 du. All right, so now what I can do is I can distribute my u to the 1 half to make all separate terms. So that would be 1 half integral of 
u to the one half times u squared, we need to take one half and add two. So that would be u to the one half plus four over two, which would be u to the five over two minus, now I have two and then one half plus one would be three halves, u to the three halves. And then u to the one half times one would be plus u to the one half du. And I'll put a parentheses around all of that. Okay, so now I have all separate terms. And when I have all separate terms of a variable to a power, when the power does not equal to negative one, I can use the rule of the integral of x to the n dx is equal to x to the n plus one over n plus one plus c. So now, when I take my integral using that rule, I'll bring over the one half, and then that'll be times u, five halves plus one is seven halves, be u to the seven halves over the new exponent, which is seven halves, minus two u to the three halves plus one would be five halves over five halves, plus u to the one half plus one is three halves over the new exponent, which is three halves. Okay, and now technically it's a plus c, but I'll go ahead and re, um, I'll go ahead and simplify and then re-sub in my variable. Um, my initial uh, original variable before I add the plus C. So to simplify, let's flip. When we have a fraction on the bottom, we can flip it and multiply. So that'll make one half times two sevenths or two U to the seven halves over seven minus That'll be two times two is four, four u to the five halves over five, plus, flip that over makes two thirds, two u to the three halves over three. And then I can distribute my two in, my one half in, and that will cancel out the two in this term, so that makes u to the 7 halves over 7 minus, that'll cancel out one of the 2's in the 4, so 2u to the 5 halves over 5, and then plus this 2 will cancel that 2 out, u to the 3 halves over 3. Okay, and now I need to resubstitute my original variable. My u was initially equal to one plus x squared. So I'm gonna substitute one plus x squared to my u. And that's gonna make one plus x squared to the seven halves over seven minus two times one plus x squared to the five halves over five plus one plus x squared to the three halves over three. Now that I've resubstituted my initial variable, I'll add my plus c on the end. And I could technically put this back into a square root format, but this should be considered simple enough for the final answer. Okay, so I hope this step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments, and I will try to get to them as soon as I possibly can with between all my other students. Also, I do have my email listed down in the description below if you have any um, 
problem that you would like to send a photo of or something like that that's difficult to write in the description, you're welcome to send that. Or if you would like to contact me about tutoring, I have that info down in the description as well. So feel free to contact me for tutoring as well. Thanks for watching and happy studies.